In a world where social connections are often prized, the absence of close friendships can raise questions and concerns. However, attributing a lack of friends solely to one's personality or character overlooks the multifaceted nature of human relationships. While it's tempting to jump to conclusions, it's crucial to delve deeper into the potential reasons behind an individual's sparse social circle. Here, we explore seven factors that may contribute to a person having few friends. Number 1. Shyness or Introversion Shyness and introversion are often misunderstood traits in society, with extroversion often being idealized as the norm. However, introversion is not a flaw, it's simply a different way of experiencing and interacting with the world. Introverted individuals tend to recharge their energy through solitary activities or in small, intimate settings rather than large social gatherings. While extroverts thrive in bustling social environments, introverts may feel overwhelmed and drained by excessive stimuli, preferring deeper one-on-one -on -one conversations. In social situations, introverts may struggle to initiate conversations or assert themselves, leading to fewer opportunities to connect with others. Large social gatherings, where small talk and rapid exchanges are common, can be particularly challenging for introverted individuals. As a result, they may prefer spending time alone or with a small circle of close friends whom they feel comfortable with. Despite their preference for solitude, introverts value meaningful connections and can form deep, genuine friendships when given the opportunity. They may prioritize quality over quantity when it comes to their social circle, investing their time and energy in a select few individuals with whom they share common interests and values. These friendships tend to be built on trust, authenticity, and mutual understanding, lasting for years or even a lifetime. It's essential for society to recognize and appreciate the strengths of introverted individuals, rather than viewing their quiet nature as a hindrance. Introverts bring unique perspectives, creativity, and depth to relationships and interactions. By creating inclusive environments that cater to different personality types, we can ensure that introverts feel valued and respected for who they are. Furthermore, introverts should be encouraged to embrace their natural tendencies and assert their boundaries in social situations. By advocating for themselves and seeking out environments that align with their preferences, introverts can cultivate fulfilling friendships that honor their need for solitude and meaningful connection. In conclusion, Shyness and introversion should not be viewed as barriers to friendship but rather as integral aspects of an individual's personality. By understanding and accepting these traits, we can foster a more inclusive and supportive society where everyone, regardless of their social disposition, feels empowered to form genuine connections with others. Number 2. Trust Issues Trust issues stemming from past experiences of betrayal or hurt can have profound effects on an individual's ability to form and maintain friendships. When someone has been let down or betrayed by people they trusted, whether it be friends, family members, or romantic partners, it can lead to a pervasive sense of distrust and skepticism towards others. These negative experiences can leave lasting emotional scars, making it challenging for individuals to open up and develop new relationships. Fear of vulnerability often lies at the core of trust issues. Individuals may hesitate to share their thoughts, feelings, and experiences with others out of fear of being judged, rejected, or hurt again. This reluctance to be emotionally vulnerable can create a barrier between oneself and potential friends, preventing genuine connections from forming. Without trust, friendships lack the foundation of mutual respect and understanding necessary for their growth and longevity. Additionally, individuals with trust issues may struggle to discern others' intentions accurately. They may perceive innocent actions or gestures as potential threats, leading to heightened anxiety and suspicion in social interactions. This constant state of vigilance can be exhausting and may cause individuals to withdraw further into themselves, avoiding social situations altogether to protect themselves from potential harm. As a result of these trust issues, individuals may find themselves leading a solitary existence, lacking the close friendships and support networks that are essential for emotional well-being. While they may yearn for connection and companionship, the fear of being hurt again outweighs the desire for social interaction. 
This isolation can exacerbate feelings of loneliness and contribute to a cycle of distrust and withdrawal from others. Overcoming trust issues requires time, patience, and often professional support. Therapy can be instrumental in helping individuals process past traumas, challenge negative thought patterns, and learn healthy coping mechanisms for managing their fears and anxieties. Building trust in oneself and others is a gradual process that requires vulnerability and courage, but it is essential for fostering meaningful connections and enriching one's social life. It's crucial for friends and loved ones to be patient and understanding when supporting someone with trust issues. Encouraging open communication, demonstrating reliability and consistency, and respecting boundaries are essential steps in rebuilding trust and nurturing healthy relationships. By providing a safe and supportive environment, friends can play a vital role in helping individuals with trust issues gradually re-engage with the world and rediscover the joys of genuine human connection. Before continuing the discussion to point 3, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments about this topic. Number 3. Lack of social opportunities. Lack of social opportunities can significantly impact an individual's ability to cultivate friendships and establish meaningful connections with others. Access to social opportunities is vital for expanding one's social network and meeting new people from diverse backgrounds and experiences. However, individuals living in isolated areas or lacking participation in social activities may find themselves at a disadvantage when it comes to building friendships. Living in a geographically isolated area can pose challenges for those seeking social interaction. Remote or rural communities may have limited resources and amenities, making it difficult for residents to access social gatherings or community events. Without easy access to places where people congregate, individuals may struggle to meet new people and form friendships, leading to feelings of loneliness and social isolation. Furthermore, individuals who lead busy or solitary lifestyles may have limited opportunities for social interaction. People who work long hours, commute long distances, or have demanding family responsibilities may find it challenging to carve out time for socializing. As a result, they may miss out on opportunities to meet new people and engage in social activities, which can hinder the development of friendships. Social opportunities are also influenced by factors such as socioeconomic status and cultural background. Individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds may face barriers to accessing social activities due to financial constraints or lack of transportation. Similarly, cultural norms and expectations regarding social interaction may differ across communities, affecting the availability of social opportunities for certain individuals. Moreover, the digital age has transformed the way people socialize, with online platforms providing new avenues for connection and interaction. However, individuals who are not proficient in using technology or lack access to the Internet may be excluded from these virtual social spaces, further limiting their opportunities to meet new people and form friendships. Addressing the lack of social opportunities requires a multifaceted approach that considers both structural and individual factors. Communities can work to create inclusive and accessible spaces where people can gather and socialize, regardless of their background or circumstances. This may involve investing in community centers, organizing local events, and providing transportation services for residents in isolated areas. Additionally, individuals can take proactive steps to expand their social networks and seek out opportunities for social interaction. This may involve joining clubs or organizations, attending community events, or volunteering in their local area. By actively engaging with their community and connecting with others who share their interests, individuals can increase their chances of forming meaningful friendships and combating social isolation. Number 4. Lack of Social Skills Lack of social skills can present significant barriers to forming and maintaining friendships, as effective communication and interpersonal abilities are fundamental for fostering meaningful connections. Individuals who lack these skills may struggle to navigate the complexities of social interactions, leading to difficulties in establishing rapport and building trust with others. Without the necessary tools to engage with others effectively, 
they may find themselves on the outskirts of social circles, feeling isolated and disconnected from those around them. One of the key components of social skills is the ability to communicate clearly and confidently. Individuals who struggle with communication may find it challenging to express their thoughts, feelings, and intentions effectively, leading to misunderstandings and misinterpretations in their interactions with others. As a result, they may struggle to form meaningful connections, as communication is essential for building trust and mutual understanding in friendships. Interpersonal skills, such as empathy, active listening, and conflict resolution, are also crucial for navigating social relationships. Individuals who lack these skills may struggle to connect with others on an emotional level, leading to shallow or superficial interactions. Without the ability to empathize with others' experiences or effectively resolve conflicts, they may find it difficult to establish lasting and fulfilling friendships. Furthermore, individuals who lack social skills may experience anxiety or self-consciousness in social situations, further hindering their ability to connect with others. Fear of rejection or judgment may cause them to withdraw or avoid social interactions altogether, perpetuating a cycle of social isolation and loneliness. Without opportunities to practice and develop their social skills, they may struggle to break free from this pattern and form meaningful connections with others. Learning and developing social skills requires time, effort, and support from others. Individuals who struggle in this area can benefit from seeking out resources such as social skills training programs, therapy, or support groups where they can learn and practice new skills in a supportive environment. By actively working on improving their communication and interpersonal abilities, they can increase their confidence and effectiveness in social interactions, making it easier to form and maintain friendships. It's also essential for friends and acquaintances to be patient and understanding when interacting with individuals who may lack social skills. Encouraging open communication, providing constructive feedback, and offering support and encouragement can help them feel more comfortable and accepted in social settings. By creating inclusive and supportive environments, we can empower individuals to develop the social skills they need to thrive in their relationships and connections with others. Number 5. Changing Circumstances Changing circumstances, such as relocation, career changes, or shifts in family dynamics, can profoundly impact an individual's social network and friendships. These life transitions often entail leaving behind familiar social circles and support systems, thrusting individuals into unfamiliar environments where they must navigate new relationships and social dynamics. Relocation, whether for work, education, or personal reasons, is a common catalyst for disruptions in social networks. Moving to a new city or country can mean leaving behind friends, colleagues, and community ties, requiring individuals to rebuild their social connections from scratch. Adjusting to a new environment, establishing rapport with new acquaintances, and finding opportunities for social engagement can be challenging and time-consuming, leading to a temporary lack of friends. Similarly, career changes, such as starting a new job or transitioning to a different industry, can also disrupt existing social networks. Leaving behind co-workers and professional contacts can result in a loss of social support and camaraderie, particularly if the new role or workplace is markedly different from the previous one. Building rapport with new colleagues and forging connections within the new professional environment takes time and effort, leaving individuals in a period of transition where their social circle may be limited. Shifts in family dynamics, such as marriage, divorce, or the birth of a child, can also impact an individual's social connections. Relationship changes within the family unit can alter social priorities and obligations, leading individuals to invest more time and energy in familial relationships and less in friendships outside the family circle. As a result, friendships may take a back seat during times of significant family upheaval, leaving individuals with fewer opportunities for social interaction. Navigating changing circumstances requires adaptability and resilience, as individuals must adjust to new social norms, routines, and expectations. Establishing a sense of belonging and connection in unfamiliar environments may require stepping outside one's comfort zone, actively seeking out social opportunities, and building relationships gradually over time. 
Initiating conversations, participating in social activities, and joining community groups or clubs can help individuals expand their social networks and forge new friendships in their new circumstances. It's essential for individuals undergoing significant life changes to be patient and compassionate with themselves as they navigate the challenges of rebuilding their social connections. Cultivating self-awareness, practicing self-care, and seeking support from friends, family, or mental health professionals can help individuals cope with the stress and uncertainty associated with transitions. By embracing change as an opportunity for personal growth and connection, individuals can emerge from periods of transition with strengthened social bonds and a renewed sense of belonging. Number 6. Shifting Priorities or Growth as individuals progress through life, their priorities and interests naturally evolve in response to personal growth and changing circumstances. This evolution often entails a re-evaluation of how time and energy are allocated, with a shift towards pursuits such as personal development, career advancement, or hobbies that align with one's evolving interests and goals. Consequently, socializing may take a backseat as individuals prioritize these other aspects of their lives leading to a decrease in the time and effort dedicated to maintaining friendships. Prioritizing personal growth and self-improvement is a natural part of the human experience. As individuals strive to fulfill their potential and pursue their passions, they may find themselves devoting more time to activities that foster personal development, such as education, skill building, or pursuing creative endeavors. While these pursuits can be fulfilling and enriching, they may also require a significant investment of time and energy, leaving individuals with fewer opportunities for social interaction. Similarly, career advancement often demands a considerable commitment of time and effort, particularly during periods of intense focus or transition. Whether pursuing new job opportunities, seeking promotions, or furthering one's education, individuals may find themselves immersed in work-related activities that leave little room for socializing. As career goals take precedence, social connections may inadvertently take a back seat, resulting in a decrease in the frequency and depth of interactions with friends. Furthermore, as individuals mature, their social needs and preferences may evolve, leading to changes in the types of relationships they prioritize. Some individuals may find themselves gravitating towards more intimate or meaningful connections, while others may seek out social interactions that align with their interests and values. These shifts in social priorities can result in a re-evaluation of existing friendships and a narrowing of one's social circle to those who share similar goals and interests. While prioritizing personal growth and other pursuits over socializing is a natural part of life, it's essential for individuals to recognize the importance of maintaining social connections for their overall well-being. Friendships provide emotional support, companionship, and a sense of belonging that are essential for mental and emotional health. Therefore, finding a balance between personal goals and social relationships is key to fostering a fulfilling and balanced life. Finding ways to integrate socializing into one's busy schedule, such as scheduling regular meetups with friends or participating in group activities that align with personal interests, can help individuals maintain connections with others while pursuing personal growth and other priorities. Additionally, being mindful of the importance of nurturing friendships and investing time and effort in cultivating meaningful relationships can help individuals navigate periods of shifting priorities and ensure that social connections remain a valued aspect of their lives. Number 7. Mental Well-Being Mental well-being plays a crucial role in an individual's capacity to form and maintain friendships. Conditions such as depression, anxiety, or social anxiety can profoundly affect one's ability to engage in social interactions, leading to feelings of isolation and loneliness. Individuals struggling with mental health issues may find it challenging to initiate conversations, attend social gatherings, or maintain regular contact with friends. These conditions can create barriers to forming meaningful connections and may result in a sense of detachment from others. Depression, characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and loss of interest in activities, can significantly impact social functioning. Individuals experiencing depression may withdraw from social interactions, finding it difficult to muster the energy or motivation to engage with others. 
As a result, they may become increasingly isolated, further exacerbating their feelings of loneliness and disconnection from the world around them. Anxiety disorders, including generalized anxiety disorder and social anxiety disorder, can also interfere with an individual's ability to form friendships. Excessive worry, fear of judgment, and avoidance of social situations can hinder social interactions and prevent individuals from building relationships. Individuals with social anxiety may experience intense anxiety or panic in social settings, leading them to avoid social situations altogether and limiting their opportunities for social connection. Moreover, the stigma surrounding mental health issues can contribute to feelings of shame and embarrassment, making individuals hesitant to seek help or disclose their struggles to others. Fear of being judged or misunderstood may deter individuals from reaching out for support, leading them to suffer in silence and further isolating themselves from potential sources of assistance. This reluctance to seek help can perpetuate feelings of loneliness and exacerbate the impact of mental health issues on social functioning. Addressing mental health concerns is essential for fostering healthy social connections and mitigating the negative impact of mental illness on relationships. Seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor can provide individuals with the support and guidance they need to manage their symptoms effectively and develop coping strategies for navigating social interactions. Additionally, joining support groups or seeking out peer support can offer individuals a sense of community and understanding, reducing feelings of isolation and loneliness. Creating an environment of acceptance and support for individuals struggling with mental health issues is crucial for fostering healthy social connections. Educating others about mental illness, challenging stigma, and promoting open and compassionate communication can help break down barriers to seeking help and encourage individuals to reach out for support when needed. By prioritizing mental well-being and addressing mental health concerns proactively, individuals can cultivate fulfilling friendships and establish a strong support network that enhances their overall quality of life.